Hey guys, Dave from Cook and Share here. Are you ready? Today we are making up the ultimate, ultimate comfort food. This bacon mac and cheese. It is so creamy, so wonderful, and you are going to love this. Having said all that, let me show you how to make this. So we are going to kick things off here with a pot of salted boiling water. And we always use salt when cooking pasta because it's got to be well, just like the ocean. Then add in about a cup and a half of elbow noodles. And so ever patiently let these cook up for about nine minutes, just to the point where they're al dente. While the pasta is cooking, I'm going to grab up about six strips of bacon that I've chopped up and fry this to the point where it is crisp. Mmm, bacon. After about nine or ten minutes, our noodles are beautifully cooked up, so I'm just going to strain these and set them aside. Next up, we're going to add four tablespoons of unsalted butter to a preheated pan over medium-high heat. Then we'll just go ahead and let this melt down. Oh, watching butter melt is just like watching paint dry. Next, in with a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. And we'll just stir and cook this down until a nice, beautiful, silky roux forms. Okay, a cup and a half of milk, and we're going to add in half at a time. So what you're doing is adding in three quarters of a cup right now. And you're going to continue to whisk and whisk and whisk just till it begins to thicken up. Now the other three quarters of a cup and continue to whisk. Until you get a nice, thick, creamy consistency, something like this. Doesn't that look wonderful? And it doesn't take that long, and it's kind of fun. It builds muscle. At this point in time, you want to kill the heat. And we're going to add in a cup and a half of old grated cheddar. Now I use this, this is my favorite, but you can use the cheese of your choice. Now, in with that six strips of bacon that we fried and chopped up, and this smells oh so good. And ever so little bit of salt, because you don't need that much, that bacon is already salty enough. But, 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 guys, I got to have me ground black pepper, so about a teaspoon of that. And do you know what I forgot to add, guys, and I should have, are some hot banana peppers. Oh, they would have been so juicy and nice in this. But you can add them yourself, if you're so inclined, but you don't have to. Whisk this up until it's smooth, creamy, and beautifully comes together. Oh, this looks so good, my friends. I mean, just look at this mixture. Doesn't it look beyond words? Something you could just grab up with a spoon and eat right now? But of course, not yet, because we're going in with that pasta that we set aside and just about forgot about, but we can't forget about it. Grab up Mr. Spatula this time and mix everything together until that wonderful, wonderful comfort food forms up. And there you have it, my wonderful food friends. That simply delicious, divine, what other adjectives can I use? No bake, bacon, mac, and cheese. Life just does not get any better. Nor does comfort food. But we are not quite done yet because we're going to make this all nice and pretty and garnish it up with some green onions that I've chopped up, just the ends, ever so finely. And believe me guys, once you dig in, you're going to be shocked and delighted with the creamy richness of this bacon mac and cheese. That bacon just blends together with the mac and cheese so beautifully. You are going to simply love this and my friends, you must make this. Uh oh, so good. 